both of these players. These are guys who look like this. These are guys you could see holding up the belt next weekend on ESPN2. Exactly. Both these guys could be in the finals. This is a prime time big matchup. Hope the chat's got their popcorn ready. I hope Twitter's tweeting about this getting ready. I'm fired up. I'm juiced up. This is good because this is really a chess match. Both these guys, they're just both prolific on offense. It's going to be about who can get that stop on defense. Big shout out to Chaos. Love both of them, but I got Ghost over Fancy and a super close one to the NFC East title. Got a shout out all my watch parties out there, hanging out and enjoying the club championship action. No problems. Got Thanks, one. Bro. Clef, Chaos. We just saw oh, his tweet. Our guy yeah, Boogs yeah. watching along. So many guys out there were hosting those watch parties. TD, I highly recommend. Y'all got to check them out because they are a great way to hang out with the community while these games go on. Exactly. This is the best time of the year. This is the biggest tournament in Madden history. The Madden Club Championship. It doesn't get the stakes don't get bigger than this. Here we go. A spot in the final eight. Second and two. The left side goes with a beam to Jermichael Finley to the 38 yard line. Absolute laser. And look at those final 32 ranks. Third in pass yards per game, 32nd in rush yards per game. That just shows you right there. Ghost doesn't want to run the ball, and he's not going to run the ball, but he's prolific at passing, and you saw it on that corner route right there to the tight end. First and 10 for Josh Allen at the helm for Ghost. The only Josh Allen we saw today. Stepping right, he finds your Michael Finley once again. TD, you know what I remember? I, I don't know if you watched this game, but last year, when uh, Ghost took on Techers uh, in the Washington Football Club finally, lost that game. But I think that might have been the greatest example of how good Ghost is because he played about as perfect of a game. I think he was 17 of 18 passing the ball. That's a Ghost game plan for you. Exactly. I think he threw one incompletion. Maybe he didn't even throw an incompletion. I remember the that only game. incompletion was a pick he threw that sealed the game. At the end, right? Yeah, I, I remember that now. It just shows you this guy. Look at You see right here, five for five already. He's gonna. He's the most patient Madden player I've ever seen in my life. He's always going to throw the flats if you give it to him. He's not going to make too many mistakes, even though he did a couple against Henry. But he usually doesn't make mistakes. He checks down when you when he when he needs to, when you give it to him. And he, and he methodically works the ball down the field. Oh, he's very efficient. Going, bro. You know, uh, TD, this is going to be a real test for Fancy defensively. I don't think he's gone up against somebody as offensively talented as Ghost. And Fancy's looked pretty good on defense. Yeah, great point. He has, and especially a bunch player. You know, he probably gets reps all the time versus guys like Jay Wall and Decroft who run a lot of trips. But when it comes to gun bunch, there's not too many better than the Ghost man. Oh, Randy Moss to the end zone. What a start for the Madden 18 club champion. An absolute laser beam by Ghost on the motion post to Randy Moss in the end zone. And what a drive. Six for seven on his first drive, and he goes down to get seven. That's big time by Ghost. Seven play drive, seven passes thrown, seven points on the board. This man just hit the jackpot on the slot machine. And now we'll see what Fancy has to answer. He's going to take that about six yards deep in the end zone. Bo Jackson will get up to the 16-yard line. What a drive from Ghost, and take a look at our Snickers. Dot replay, he got himself a dot to Randy Moss. Motion's out, Randy Moss. You can't press that man one-on-one -on -one with the bump. Gets the, the beat on him with the, with the speed, and boom, in the end zone, diving catch. That's big time. Now Fancy comes out on offense, and TD, uh, safe to say his offense has not had any problems putting points on the board so far. No, it hasn't. He's prolific in that trips tight end formation. He's in that Las Vegas Raiders playbook. One of the best trips tight end players in the world. Guys like him, Jay Wall, um, known in the, known for it in that TNC crew. We'll see what he's got. We'll see what kind of adjustments Ghost makes on defense for this too, because it's very difficult to defend. Fancy uses a lot of motion. He uses great spacing. He's got some high low reads. Really talented with this trips offense. First and ten for Fancy. Rich Gannon rolling right, throws this one away. Now, TD, you talked about the motion that Fancy uses. For, for the people at home maybe just getting into the game, trying to learn what to do, what can motion do for your offense? Yeah, a lot of different things it can do. So it can make, it can create havoc versus zone defense. You can create flood concepts. You can also uh, use some speed bursts with motion slants and drags to beat man-to-man -man coverage. It helps you tell if it's man or zone better if the guy follows them. So there's a million different things that motion does. You see it a lot more now in the NFL as well. A lot of these new, young, up-and-coming offensive coordinators starting to use motion because it just does a oh, lot for your Santana. offense. creates havoc for the defense. 
look at Santana Moss. He's got a, a, a second gear that I, I don't know if I've seen from a wide receiver here in Madden 21. Caught that pass and it looked like he was shot out of a cannon. This, that's what I'm saying. This guy looks just faster than everybody else. He's got that Rotec ability. He's cutting on a dime. He's got the agility. Like you said, he's got that little boost he gets. This guy is a weapon right here in Madden Ultimate Team. Uh oh, there goes Barry. There goes Barry. Big run to the 30 yard line. He can do it in the air. He can do it on the ground. Fancy working his way towards the end zone. Speaking of that explosiveness, take a look at Fancy's passing yards per game 152 ninth. But that Barry Sanders right there on that inside zone, he had a lot of burst right there on that run. I love that Barry Sanders in Ultimate Team right now. These guys, him and Decroft, using them well. And you see, same thing with Fancy. He doesn't want to run the ball either, just like Ghost, but he goes to that inside zone there. And, you know, we've seen, we said this is a defensive game, but so far, both these guys don't show some fireworks. Hand off to Sanders. Here's what's crazy. You talk about Fancy, we talk about the young generation, how much young talent there is here in Madden. Fancy, out of the final 32, He's the 16th oldest and youngest competitor. That tells you how young this field truly is. That's insane. It's crazy it's how young this field is. Like you said, all that young talent. You had that great uh, rant you went on last week about all the young talent we have in the community. And so true. So many guys want to be that top guy. They want to be the star when it comes to competitive Madden. We got a lot of guys vying for that title. And Fancy's right in that mix. It's crazy. There are th uh, four players in this tournament who are 18 years old or younger and two of them are already on to the final eight noah and john beast will be in the final eight next week don't miss out on all the action he had extra standing like there was nobody around him on the sidelines but barry sanders will make the catch and fight through a couple tackles second and four i was thinking the same thing he had x wide open for like a minute right there on the flat he just missed him but he still checks down picks up a nice six yards puts himself in a manageable second and four thousand dollar game of Madden absolutely insane goes with a great drive to start things off fancy with the answer to the 10 yard line he doesn't have to snap this but he will look like a little trap run and ghost prep for it we'll go to the second quarter seven nothing third down for fancy and you remember in that first game Nick fancy really struggled in the red zone he went with three straight run calls uh, in that game versus evil low so it doesn't look like he's really labbed a lot of passing for the red zone. Looks like he might go back to the ground game again here. Let's see if he has anything cooked up. Third and three. Bye, back to Bo, and he'll roll over the tackle. He'll get to the six yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Goes a little 0 1 trap out of the single back wide trips formation. Those those 0 1 traps really good this year, whether it's uh, single back or shotgun. Goes to it on a critical third and three, and Bo Jackson falling forward to pick it up. Seven nothing. Ghost with the lead, but Fancy looking to tie this up. Two long drives from these two players. Back to the stretch. Ghost ready for that one. Shot the gap, dropped him for a loss of four. Great user ability right there by Ghost. He read it from the start, knew it was a stretch, blew it up right inside the middle. And like I said, for Fancy, this is where games are won and lost inside this red zone. Do you have something cooked up? It's very difficult down here. Fancy the Dallas Cowboys club champion, 119, excuse me, 120 and five in online qualifiers. I mean, just an unbelievable average, 19 points per game, only gave up six. Not only was he dominant, oh, he won a lot. Oh, hit him with the swerve! Got nasty to the end zone! Fancy a point away from tying this one up. Nasty stick work right there by Fancy. A little shimmy shake from the left to the right. Gets by Ghost's user, and he ties the ball game up. Great drive and great way to punch it in. Interesting call to go with the trap again, but it worked. What a drive. Now what he wants to do? Seven all the score. What a run by Fancy. 10 yards out, getting sticky with it. Look at it one more time. Hit him with the jab step. Defender comes up and he goes, Whoop, I'm out of the way. <laughs> oh, that was nice. It wasn't too much. Just a little bit, just a little move to get by the user. And he punches it in. And here we go. Back to Ghost on offense. First down at 10. 
Goes back to quick throw. Austin Eckler, it is so crazy how good of a read Ghost can make within a half second of snapping the ball. Yeah, he's amazing at it. Just knows right away when the blitz is coming, boom. Hits the table real quickly. And this this just has that big game feel. You, the, both these guys locked in right now. I have a feeling this game might come down to the wire. Allen over the middle, diving catch. Randy Moss, the 47-yard line. It's like watching Picasso and Da Vinci on offense. Painting a picture, and there's no one better than Ghost. He's, he's, he's starting to heat up, too. That's the thing with Ghost. When he starts to get in a groove, he's really dangerous. Eight for nine right now. You see it, just throwing lasers all over the field. Now he's got the wheel route. He's got the wheel route for a touchdown. He's got to look backside there, Tyler Davis. I saw it, it was so open, you're right. He had the wheel route for days on the right side. He did not see it. I thought he also had the tight end corner route. Just didn't pull the trigger right there. A little hesitation on Ghost's part. In case you were wondering, Teeny, I make perfect reads when I'm not playing the game. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't we all? Marcel Reese breaks the tackle, and he'll get to the 48 yard line. What's crazy is you look at these route combos that Ghost is drawing up out of that bunch. It looks like a Picasso painting because it's all sorts of geometric shapes out there, but somehow it works out. Yeah, it's just so clean the way he does it. Just uses great route combos, it's great spacing. He knows what he's, he's reading the defense so well. He knows he needs to check down. He knows he needs to flood the zones. He has he has crossing routes to beat man. Like you said, it's it's art. It's, it's a Picasso picture out here. First and 10, third drive of the game, by the way. We're not even at the two minute warning. Third drive of the game is our guy, another one of those watch parties out there, the god, Clef the God says, this is the perfect matchup for Ghost. His abilities on offense counters Fancy's abilities perfect. It's gonna be very hard for Fancy to get a stop. No surprise to see Clef pulling for his boy, pulling for the Ghost man. And some great analysis right there by Clef. That's why he's one of Clef the best in the players. Booth. <laughs> right? It, that's why he's one of the best players in the world, because he knows exactly what's going on as well. And, it, and he, his, his point is perfectly going on right now. Fancy can't sniff a stop to save his life. Uh, Ghost is doing a phenomenal job dotting right here. Looks like Fancy might send some heat on this play. Fortunately, I think Clef might have some playing still left before he can retire like you and user. He's, he's still got, he's got, he's got a couple more <laughs> tournaments out. Where was the defender going? Can oh, anyone tell me where he went? Did anyone see that? Somebody rushed the quarterback and he bailed. Yeah, that was very unique. Fancy take, getting a little risky. He brought the safeties in the box, tried to send some heat. I thought he had the post to the right side for a touchdown too. He's got the corner out wide open. Fancy looks like he's getting a little nervous on defense here. He can't really figure out what to do. So he's starting to send some heat, leaving things wide open for ghosts. It's a little head shake from Fancy. I'm trying to figure out how to stop the machine that is Ghost. First and 10. Those little weak eye twins now back into the eye form. Looks like eye form close, stretch run. And all those Madden 20 fans out there go, I remember that. I remember that formation. <laughs> and speaking of Madden 20, Nick, I think we talked about this with Wesley how the game fits his style. I think another perfect example of that is Ghost. Madden 20, obviously not his style of game, didn't have the best year. Madden 21, without a doubt, more his style. It's a passing game. It's relying on your uh, pressure on defense to force some turnovers. Game fits Ghost's style well. Beam. What a read. Jerry Rice, oh so nice. Into the end zone, Ghost retakes the lead. This guy has dots out of every formation. Red zone, he goes down to single back, wing tight. Throws an absolute laser on the unbumbable to the wide stop. receiver, and he punches it in. Me. That's what Ghost needs to do. That's what I'm saying. These red zone drives, when you get into the red zone, it's so important. You need seven. Red, uh, Ghost cooked it up, and he's able to convert for a touchdown. Kick is away. Fancy. Buck 49 and two timeouts. He'll bring Bo Jackson out of the end zone to the 20-yard line. 14-7. to seven. Now, Fancy, who's going to get the ball to start the second half. Big drive here. Big drive here. Plenty of time. Two timeouts. This is an eternity for Fancy. And the way he looked on his first drive, he looked great on offense. So if he can go down and punch this in and tie it up and get ball at half, he's really in the driver's seat. So this is a big, tri big time drive for the youngster. Back into the trips. He'll hand the ball off to Barry Sanders. Oh, big hit on Barry. Absolutely vetoing the rest of that run. 
Nice little stop and go by Fancy, and then Ghost returns it with some stick work of his own for a big hit stick. It's a nice stop and go, and then Ghost hit him with just the stop. My ball! Get a curl oh, around. Oh, oh, it's picked up! Scared. How did he get that pick? What a diving catch! That's Sean T out there! The Washington legend making plays! What a click on user pick that curl route. Fancy is known for the curl route. Ghost knew it, read it, clicked on, made an acrobat catch, and that could be a game changer in this matchup. Now Ghost, buck 23 left to the half, all three timeouts. He'll go to the eye for him close. Eckler at the top of the eye. And he'll run stretch. Shit, Is Ghost setting a trend here? This Austin Eckler, we have not seen this year. And he's making plays. He's 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 ball bruising over people right here on the oh, run. He's so making bad. plays in the passing game with those table routes. He's looking good for Ghost. Second and four. First mistake of the game. Fancy throws a pick. And now goes in field goal range, but he's thinking about six. Allen in the gun, bunch to the left side. Jerry Rice alone on the right side. Moss will come in motion over to that right side. Three-man rush from Fancy. He's got all the time Stop in the, the world. Does Stop he have him? Diving come catch, on. a just king on, to the end out, zone. Please. Ghost goes up by two scores. Another one, another laser by Ghost. He had everything open. He had the corner rope, but he throws to the backside post. Absolute beam into the end zone. Ghost is in business. The way this offense is rolling. Oh, it is scary. When you're on the defensive side to try to stop what Ghost has dialed up. Fancy still have a minute seven to go. As we'll take a look at our Snickers touchdown replay. TD, when he goes to the movie theaters, he doesn't get a bunch of crunch. He gets himself dots. Yeah, that was an absolute laser beam, and Ghost fired up about it, rightfully so. He had that corner row wide open, too. I know the, the chat out there saw it as well, but he elects to throw it backside, and that's big time. What a dot. Gain at first and 10 for Fancy. Oh, he might have had him on the post right of his tight coverage, though, but that's why you have LT out there on the line. I think that was a risky throw. I think that could have been a click on pick for Ghost, especially with where he was. I think he's fortunate to take that sack. I know we had a step on him, but the way he rolled out right there, I don't think he would have got that in there. So I think Fancy got a little bit lucky. But once again, this is another. This is a big drive now for Fancy. Only one timeout. Does get ball at half. But man, that pick was huge. Again. Stepping left, looking over the middle of the field. Diving catch, another tight window throw, but Fancy put it right where he needed to. 54 seconds, no timeouts. Motions over the post route. That's been a staple in his offense all year long. Throws it, gets the diving catch animation. Now no timeouts, so you're going to have to start to get out of bounds. Plenty of time, though. Can still use the middle of the field. Maybe has one or two of those, and that's all. Stepping right, looking over the middle of the field, and he has him, like, but Moss dropped it. it. Man. Come on. So it sounds like he He's said he possession caught it, but anything. I think he I rack caught it. Maybe right he pressed the wrong button by this. accident. Not sure what happened right there, but you got to oh, possession man. catch that. Special. And he unfortunate because he needed that. That would have put him in field goal range. And for the first time, we're seeing Fancy look a little rattled. 21 to 7, still very much in this game. Looking downfield, but it is well covered. Looking late, and what a beam to the 33-yard line. Fancy dialing up some air attack. That is huge right there. Great patience, rolls left, throws the crosser, gets behind the defense, waits for the safety to jump back a little bit, then throws it in there. That's huge, because a field goal here is good. You're going to get ball second half. Obviously, you want seven, but any points right here and getting that ball to start the second half, you're right in this game. What a ball game we have here. The chess match continues. First and 10. Rolls right, but there's no one there. We'll throw that one away. Good route combination right there. The crosser with the angle route. I thought he might have had the crosser, but he rolled right a little bit too soon. Ghost with a good user on the angle. Had to throw it away.
Hey there. Gannon. Looking downfield. Does Gannon. he have him? Hand him back with it. Moss. As he stops short, he's short of the touchdown. But gets a friendly, a very friendly runoff. 14 seconds left. Great point, Nick. He got a friendly runoff right there. I thought it was going to do more damage than that. Now you're on the one yard line, though. You can't really run the ball here. This is so interesting. Because if you, because one yard line, you really got to run it in, but you really can't because the clock will run off if you don't score. This is a big time play in the game for both guys. And a fullback yeah. dive, Marcel Reese. Uh, give it to the Swiss Army Knife. Oh, Let him come through so that defensive, defensive line. Man. Huge touchdown for oh, Fancy. That is absolutely bad, huge for Fancy. 59 seconds, he only had one time out, and he threw absolute lasers to go all the way down the field and to punch it in for seven. That's a big time clutch drive. He's going to get ball to start the second half. You know, he hasn't been on this big stage too much, but that drive right there showed me a lot, showed that heart, and showed that he belongs. Kick is away, 21-14. Ghost does have 12 seconds and one timeout. But Fancy set it all up with that post route down to the one yard line and the Madden God smiled on him with that runoff. Yeah, they did, that was big. What a game this has turned out to be. We thought Ghost started to get the advantage with that pick and the touchdown, but Fancy fighting right back. Getting that ball to start the second half is gonna be huge. First and ten. Allen trying to take off. <laughs> there was nowhere to go. Abraham slammed the door quickly. What a first half in this one. Oh, one Ghost lead, takes advantage oh, of a mistake from Fancy, but Fancy's late drive cuts it back to a score. TD 21-14 with Fancy getting the ball uh, we're no closer to knowing who's going to win that 10k and a spot in the final eight not at all amazing first half both guys playing great on offense ghost with that pick with the difference in the game so far but i have a big time feeling that this second half is definitely going to come down to the wire halftime in the final, uh, the, the final of the NFC East, Ghost with a 21-14 lead. Fancy with the ball to start the second half. Who y'all got in the chat? What a day we've had. We got a whole lot coming up tomorrow for more on that. Walking the campus of St. Cloud State. It's Katie Ever. <laughs> Thank you, proud alum over here. Well, get excited for a special presentation of the Pro Bowl Madden NFL 21 edition presented by Verizon. It's a Pro Bowl game unlike any other airing right here on our EA Madden NFL Twitch channel. See Deshaun Watson and Kyler Murray lead their two teams of fellow NFL stars and celebrities as they go head to head in Madden. For more information, head on over to ProBowl.com. Certainly another great night of games, and we want to let you know it's just getting started. After we complete the NFC divisions tomorrow night, we will move on to crown a champion on February 5th on ESPN2. So that's what's to come in the upcoming week. A lot to look forward to, but certainly still a lot for, uh, to look forward to tonight. Right now, we have another game coming up after this one, the NFC West Division Final, Free the Penguins and Decroft. Battle it out for a chance at an extra 10 grand. A lot of eyes on this one as two friends battle it out. And only one will come out with $25,000. Don't miss that action. That's next. But right now we have a second half to be uh, played between Ghost and Fancy. For more, I'll send it right back on over to you, Nick and Petey. Katie, thank you so much. Whew. Hope you all got a glass of water during that break because uh, I'm dehydrated. It's, it Woo. is getting sweaty in here. There goes Fancy to kick things off. Enki Sticky with Barry Sanders. Let's bring in the man who's mad at me for leaving because he had to talk a whole lot more. It's one great user. User, uh, boy, how good is Ghost's offense looking right now? Yeah, this is what we was expecting the first game versus Henry. Henry ran a lot of zone, ran a lot of zone, caught Ghost off guard. Really, his abilities fit. Uh oh, that's beam. a hot one right there uh -oh. by Fancy. Beam again. Really, his abilities fit what Fancy is doing on defense. Fancy is running a lot of man. This is what Ghost really came out here prepared for. And now, as you see, Ghost has really looked unstoppable on offense. If he could get oh, one more bagged. stop and just hold the oh, door. Oh, oh, that's a bug. Uh-oh, he threw a pick. He oh, threw oh, the buckets, oh. picked off. What a, it was Allen with the pick. User, oh, that looks like one of your reads. Why I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. 
That was on me. That's okay. That was, that was a cheap That's shot. That's okay. It was. It was, but don't worry. We got plenty of time. I'm going to get you back. But, yeah, that was a bad read by Fancy right there. Ghost coming up with Come a big on, stop. Bro. But, look, offensively, offensively, Ghost has looked impeccable. He's been putting together great reads. Fancy hasn't come close to nipping a, sniffing a stop. And to be honest, Ghost is list, missing a lot of reads where he's had open touchdowns, and he's taking the short up underneath. If he actually start opening his eyes and start reading the whole field, it could get dark for Fancy. Yeah, I agree with User. It sounds like User, you know, putting that voodoo on Fancy when he's picking him to win here so his guy Gosh. Ghost can come out on top. Wow, on. User took, on, Tyler TD. took the shot too. <laughs> he's never going to hop TD. out again. Come on, TD. There was no mush. There was no voodoo. I was like you. You said Fancy. You like Fancy. I like Fancy. That was it. There was no voodoo, no mush, you know. I picked Ghost. What are you talking about? I didn't pick Fancy. Oh no, you definitely picked Fancy. Have a heart That's a hot one. Can we get wrong? the well? Can we get the replay queued up? We're gonna need oh, to. God, we're gonna need to see this one more time. We got controversy in the booth. <laughs> yeah, bring the eye in the sky back. We got it on record. The man, the myth, the legend. So one great mistakes, user. Bro. Twenty-one to fourteen. Ghost of the lead now with the ball, TD. That mistake as we take a look at another one of those guys who's just sitting there in the final eight licking his chops at next weekend. Wesley saying the fancy first Ghost game going to be the highest scoring game of the club championship. Uh, TD, that wouldn't – that's not a high bar to clear. Madden 21, as you mentioned, certainly a defensive game. Yeah, it is. And Wesley knows all about high scoring games. It's right in his – it's right in his uh, wheelhouse right there. But, yeah, this – and it, you, as user was providing that great analysis, he said the next time Ghost gets that big uh, turnover could be the difference. And right as he said that, Ghost got the turnover. And that's what he needed, that pick. Because, you know, Ghost, not known for his defense, came up with that big stop. Now he gets back on offense where he's very comfortable. Pick, thank you. Josh Allen, look at that. That's picked off. Ghost made his Locked. first mistake of the oh game. God, I didn't know it was possible for Ghost to make a mistake, but he that, threw bro. a book right back to Fancy. He's keeping the fans Come entertained. On. Stop making Fancy's mistakes. Bro. I'm beating myself. Fancy's been struggling on defense, but he Literally. comes up with a big stop. Just a bad Come read on. by Ghost. Man to man coverage, it wasn't open. He didn't have any steps on him. Not sure why Ghost threw that. Fancy clicks on, user pick, and now he can go down, tie the Good game. Luck. Woo! Woo! A little stop and go, a little hezzy action. Oh, Barry Sanders goodness. to the 21, five carries, 76 yards. TD, I'm surprised Fancy hasn't gone to the run a little more. Styling and profiling. That's, that inside zone's been very successful here in the second half. He stops and goes, cuts from the inside to the outside. Ghost doesn't have an answer for it. I think Fancy should go back to that. Stepping up with Gannon. He's got a lot of room. He'll take his seven yards. Back and forth we go. TD, we talked about momentum, how important momentum is in the game of Madden. It doesn't really feel like either guy's been able to hold on to that big momentum swing. No, they haven't, especially in the second half, too. The first half, both guys played flawlessly on offense. Just come out second half, boom, what did both guys do? Throw a pick. So kind of a change of the guard here in the second half. But now Fancy inside the red zone, going to that single back watch. Oh, wow. a run, run commit, commit. run so commit. Bad, there bro. goes Sanders to the end zone. Ghost oh benefited from a run I'm commit so in his first game, so and he gets bit by it here in the NFC East final. I don't know why I thought that guy was B. What a chess match going on. Oh, Fancy I'm, expected I'm so Ghost to run commit because he ran bro. that trap so earlier bad. out of the same formation. So what does Fancy do? He goes with a pass play. Ghost run commits. Fancy throws the laser for the touchdown. High IQ chess match going on right now, and we got a tie ball game. I hope you like the game of blackjack because we got 21s all around. This game is money. The run commit. Everybody in the backfield of prime time will walk his way for six. And Fancy had his choice right there with the run commit. Everything was open. The left side, the middle, the right side. Elects to give it to prime time and he punches it in. Whew. Allen rolling right. Pocket, He's going to take off. He'll pick up the first down TD. That last drive, we learned something that I don't think we had seen. We had confirmed. Oh, he's playing really Ghost good. Ghost is human. He's playing really good. <laughs> I'm playing yep. terrible. We didn't think he was with the way he's been playing offense, but just a bad read. He is human. Doesn't make a lot of those mistakes, but he did right there. He's got a bounce back. Game is still completely in his hands. It's up to him if he wants to win this game. 
Tie game with the ball. Look at the corner route, diving catch. Nice throw. Josh Allen, absolute laser beam. Right to that Jermichael Finley, absolute weapon. Get those two confused. Tony G and Finley both were an 88, both the two best tight ends in Mutt. Right there, the corner route, Finley, great dot. Now, Fancy looks like he's going to bring a little heat again. We see them bringing those safeties down in the box. Now he backs them off. So really a chess match going on. And goes so motion the bunch back over to the wide side. And he'll take a delay at game. Fancy with that look pre-snap really messed Ghost's rhythm up. Real chess match going on. Fancy brings the safety down the box. Ghost flips, flips back. Fancy brings the safety back, then brings him back in the box. A lot of stuff going on right here. A lot of adjustments. These guys are dialed in. First and 15. Okay. To the left side, okay, that's Eckler. To the 40-yard line, gets eight, second and seven. Little flat route, you know Ghost loves those flat routes, those little table routes. He's been throwing it all game to Eckler. Goes right back to it. Should be the final play before the fourth quarter, barring clock stoppage. All right, he'll throw this one away. What more could you ask for from a $10,000 game of Madden TD being tied, headed towards that fourth quarter between two of the great Madden minds? I know we're, we're remote, we're not in person, but it's almost like you can cut the tension with a knife. I, we can feel it. I know the chat's feeling it. It's coming down to the wire. We're about to head to the fourth quarter. Who wants it more? Third and seven. Look for that corner out again. It's Finley. It's caught to the 21-yard line. Fours up in the chat. Five minutes to go. 10,000 on the line. We're all square here in the NFC's final. This is big time. And Ghost goes right back to the tight end corner route. That's been his money route. He's been using a lot of motion blocking as well. You don't see that too often this year, but Ghost been going to a lot of that in this gun bunch. Michael Finley. Oh, we got a hold. We got a hold. It'll still get a yard. Have to. Or fancy trying to will his team to a defensive stop, hold him to three, maybe even get a turnover. Second and nine. Randy Moss, lone on the right side. Kamara, Finley, and Rice on the left side. Now Kamara moves in motion. Allen, back to pass. Oh my God. Look at right side, it That's is Moss step. once again. It's a first down to the face. four yard line. First and goal for the adjust king oh himself. Ghost knocking on the door. Absolute dart right there. C route, Randy Moss, toasts the man-to-man -man coverage. Gets down to the four. Now he's gonna probably get into that power football, that goal line formation, maybe a little power O, a little fullback dive here to Henry or Marcel Reese. He'll go to Derrick Henry. King Henry picks up a yard on the ground. Second and goal from the three. Nobody else I'd want carrying the ball inside the five yard line. Can Ghost punch this one in? Using some more of that clock. Fumble, let's go! Ah, race fumbled in! Race Come fumbled on. in! Fancy laying the lumber! Like a loads of hoop deep on the Nards no one all in one! Please, so please, much please, lumber please. out I don't know there. how I'm in this game. I have no idea how I'm in this game, but let's go. Come on, no more mistakes. A game-changing hit stick by Fancy. User hit stick on the fullback dive. That is big time stick work. That's big time defense. And now he's 93 yards away from glory. He only needs a field goal to take the lead, but he's backed up in his own territory. Unbelievable turn of events. Gannon on first and 10. On, Dion. Looking right side, he's got prime time to the 16 yard line. Oh boy, you could feel that hit in your bones. That was huge. That you, We got goosebumps from that hit. You could feel it. That was like a real NFL hit. The hit stick heard round the world by Fancy. That is big time stick work. And man, he's came to ball. Oh, that's so much stick. Get oh back my with God. Barry to the 30, oh 35, 40, down to the 42 yard line. Six carries, 102. The Oklahoma State Cowboy is galloping. Someone call the cops. This guy's out of control right now. His stick work is on another level. It's the hit stick. It's the stop and goes. He's cooking with sauce. He's in business. Oh, my goodness. Near the three-minute mark, now under the three-minute mark. 
First and 10 for Fancy. He's gonna go back to the air with Gannon. Let's go, Cross Moss. Cross is not there, looks over the middle, tight window, and Moss diving catch Randy Moss with the play at the 29 yard line. And double me, now active. Ghost's gotta be aware of that. He does. You see that Randy Moss Slow activated down, with bro. double me, an S post right there to Randy Moss over the middle. Tight coverage, but he threads it in there. Fancy is in business. He's got the momentum going and he's cooking up some lasers. Give me a bag. I'll go back to the crowd game and Ghost with Sean Taylor treats Fancy to a taste of his own medicine. A hit stick in the backfield. No fumble for the adjust game. Gives him a hit stick right back. An interesting Ghost went with the timeout already early. Interesting call right there to call it before the two minute warning. He's, you know, now another first down is gonna make it very difficult on him. Does still have the two minute warning, so technically three times the clock can be stopped second and long. Can go style up defense, he can, he broke the heat off the edge. The rookie out of Clemson, Isaiah Simmons with the sack. Two minute warning, guys, make sure you use that hashtag, Madden Club Championship. You can see your tweet live on the broadcast. There's not a lot of time left, but we'll be selecting a few lucky people to win Mutt items made up of team of the year players and Twitch chat. Stay active, let us know who you think's gonna win this game, because we'll be selecting Selecting a few randomly chosen viewers to get some prizes as well. Third There's and no 20. Fancy that. stays That's conservative, runs on. the ball, a 55 yard field goal for the lead, but Ghost, check that heart monitor. He's got a heartbeat. Big time defense. Let's see if Fancy can take the lead here. Clutch field goal. Kick is oh, up yeah. from 55 out, no problem. 24 21. Ghost, talk about your guap drive. Here we go, the belt winner. Madden 18 was his last chance, or last time he tasted a belt, he's gonna have another chance for a spot in the final eight to get that much closer. Down three, plenty of time here. Minute 51, one time out. And let's bring in users. What do you think? Your man, ghost man, can he hey. do it? Hey, listen, they tried to cheat him. He fumbled down there at the three. We'll never hit the end of that, but don't worry. Listen, there's plenty of time left on the clock. Last game, you heard him say, he's cut from a different cloth. He's built, he's clutched. There's plenty of time left, one time out. Keep your eyes glued to the screen. We get ready to watch greatness right here. Got and that's a hot one. Laser, got him, Jermichael oh, yeah. Finley to the 49 yard oh, yeah. line user. That's gotta settle the nerves down on this guap drive. You already know, Nick, this is what Ghost does. He's built, the pressure it means nothing to him. He's going to go down here. He's going to get seven, not three. He's going to get seven. Slide it down with Josh Allen. Every one of those scrambles, TD. Your heart is beating. Hoping he don't take a hit. The heart is beating. You heard users say it. He's built for the moment. He's been there before. Is he built for this moment? Who wants it more? Well, something's got to give. Clutch time. Second and eight. Bunch for Ghosts. Moss, Randy Moss, motions to the left side. Ghost outside of the pit. Hey, he might have let's the go. Let's go. Over the middle. Oh, bad read. Let's go. And Fancy Come on, just he can't saved beat himself me. He 10,000 times. He can't, oh God, he can't dogs. beat me. He takes I down the belt winner. I throw as many picks as I want, and he can't beat me. Let's go. The kid said, I am a player. He's here to stay. What a big victory oh, so for Fancy. Fight, Come on. You hear it from himself, oh my I got God. so much fight. He takes down the belt winner. That is a huge win Let's for go. Fancy. Two second half picks. Look at our man Drag, EMB zone Drag. I don't know how I won that game. Papa I have drag. no clue. What a I game. So bad. We got treated I to an so a unbelievable classic. It was two second uh, half picks, TD, that doomed goes. He was so good everywhere else. He was, that first half, he couldn't be stopped. Lasers left and right. And on the final play, he had the tight end corner row wide open. I don't know why he didn't throw it. He threw to the post, which he's had success with. But Fancy, with the safety behind it, clicks on user pick. And like you said, it was Ghost's read to the second half that cost him this. That hurts. And that is, you see the emotion start to come out from Fancy. That is a big time victory. He's going to the final eight. And talk about the last about eight months for Fancy. 
from the, since the club championships last year, didn't make it to that. But since then, in the Friday night footballs, in all the online tournaments, at the end of Madden 20, and then to start Madden 21, he has said from the beginning, this was his year, his time to make a run. Yeah, kind of interesting clock management right here, though. I'm surprised. See oh, my God. Gave Ghost a second. Was, what? What is going on? He First of all, he didn't take the delay a game. He's going to give Ghost no a way, chance bro. at the 41. Oh, don't tell me. You have got to be kidding me. A 58-yard field goal to tie it up. A mistake from Fancy. We thought it was over. It's oh over. It's oh good. My God, I suck. Oh, we I got overtime. Oh, my Lord. TD clutched it from the jaws of defeat. Oh, Ghost is still know. alive. Are you kidding me are you not entertained i've never seen anything like this i'm so stupid in my bro. life i've uh, i've watched madden for and ghost oh gets the ball God. to start the overtime period i've watched madden for 15 years i know we said about john beast last week but this is that oh, has nothing to do close to this this is <laughs> blasphemy fancy with potentially the biggest lay down in madden history what did he just do No words. Ty, this game was this game was like a present at Christmas. It was a wrap. And all of a sudden, Ghost with the defibrillator comes alive. And we got ourselves a ball game. We're in overtime. Look at this punt one more time. Titty, what happened? He punts it with three seconds, five on the game clock. What are you doing? Take the delay of game. Kick it out of bounds with one second left. What is going on? He kicked it way too soon. Then he kicks it horribly, goes out at the 41, and Ghost kicks a clutch kick. This is insanity. Second and 10, Ghost with life. Uh, hey, uh, how do you recover from the either player? Because both these guys, they were done. Controllers were oh, down. It was GG's. And now you got to lock back in. Exactly, because Ghost didn't expect to have a chance, to have the ball back, let alone wait, tie the game to go to overtime. And now, what a story it would be if Fancy, with the biggest laydown, goes through all that and then comes back and plays defense and clutches it up. So Ty, this is not only could he have taken the delay, he could have just sky kicked that exactly. one out of bounds. Even if it's a little deeper down the field, it goes out of bounds. But the the yeah. planets align. Is this destiny for Ghost? That 10K check hasn't been written yet. Third and nine for Ghost. Can he find a dot to keep this drive alive in overtime? Two wide receivers wide right. Finley and Kamar on the left side the of the line. I can't hike the ball. And Ghost can't snap the ball. So he'll take a timeout. He accepted it. Oh, nope, it's a delay game. I couldn't hike the ball. I'm literally spamming it. Uh, I let him set, bro. I waited. Oh, uh, wouldn't be a little, uh, wouldn't be right with a little controversy sure. here in overtime. <laughs> I mean, and the worst part is you're looking at Fancy. He looks like he lost the game. This game far from over, but if he's not able to close out this win, talk about a play that will haunt you. This is just craziness. We've never seen anything like this. Now we got Ghost not being able to call hike, doesn't call timeout. Fancy accepts the delay of game. You know both guys are going to be, you know, Ghost doesn't want to, he wants that to be declined. Fancy's like, no, I want to accept that. We got a lot to figure out here, but oh my goodness, I'm lost for words. Uh, I mean, we've had a little bit of everything. We've had defense, we've had offense, we've had dots, we've had books, we had special teams mistakes, we've had clutch kicks, and now we have a technical timeout. Titty, what more do you want? This is an all-you-can-eat buffet of mad in action. We've seen it all. This is the craziest game of ever. I mean, what? This club championship is out of control. The way John Beast won last week, now you put it with this ghost, uh, this performance, and what happened is just unreal. Slim Ghost. Shout out to my guy Slim Ghost out there in the chat. Two great Madden minds going at it. Going to go down to the wire and past the wire at this point. Remember, hashtag Madden Club Championship. Woo. Uh... I, I, like, it's hard to collect your thoughts at this point. Because we're in the middle of an overtime. A touchdown for Ghost wins it. He's got a key third in what is now 14. And this is all set up by one of the biggest blunders in Madden history. The important thing is, as we, as we look at this punt one more time, you notice 
it goes out of bounds so quickly. It was only a net 19 yard punt. The thing for Fancy, I think it, it, TD, if you're Fancy, you have to remember right now, if he goes down and wins this game, if he gets a stop and he gets the ball back and he wins this game, I think that play gets forgotten. But if Ghost goes down and wins it, if he lets up on defense, this is one that's going to go down in history. Yeah, and unfortunately, if that does happen, he's going to remem be remembered for this forever. So he's for him, he needs to win this game oh, really bad. Oh God, Beam on oh. third down. And, Feet and, inbounds, first down for Ghost. And Nick, just one more point on that punt. Even if he didn't take a delay game, you could call timeout with one second left on the clock. He hiked it with three. There was uh. no need for that. That's what I'm saying. Like, you just either take the delay game. He had three timeouts. Call one of them with one second left, and then you don't give your opponent any chance on the punt. Even if you kick it inbounds, out of bounds, doesn't matter. The clock's going to expire. Just, just, it, it's just a fold is really what we call it. Big time lay down and Ghost looking to take advantage. Fancy uses the timeout there, each with one timeout remaining. Ghost two second half picks. Looked like he was doomed, but like the walking dead, he came back from the grave and now has a chance at 10K and a spot in the final eight. Kamara motions out. Second overtime, by the way, of the day for Ghost. He's played so much bonus football. Over the middle, he's got Finley, big hit, but he comes up with a first down. Great read by Ghost. He's dissecting the defense. Fancy went with cover two, hasn't done it too much. So Ghost hits him with a seam streak over the middle of the tight end, something he hasn't done a lot. And you see Finley, 10 catches now, 170 yards. That tight end has been an absolute weapon for him. Nearing field goal range. First and 10. Oh, he's gonna take a shot. One-on-one, -on -one. he's got prime time on Randy Moss, and he'll swat that one away. Oh boy, everyone at Pizza Hut Stadium held their breath on that one. Everyone was standing up on their feet after that one. One-on-one, -on -one, Randy on prime time, 50-50 ball, and no one comes up with it. Allen. Can Josh Allen lead him no, to victory? God. He might have him, but under pressure and accurate. He had the play, and Josh Allen sailed it. He had him. The S post, you see Ghost is sick about it because he had him, just rolled out left too much and couldn't get the throw there. That could have been the game winner. Third and 10. The Madden 18 club champion looking. Let's waiting, go. Trying to stay with him. Oh, alert from Fancy. Can he make up for the special teams mistake? Three oh, man, picks from Ghost after halftime, and Fancy just needs a field goal. What a lurk. That was phenomenal defense. He covered everything Ghost wanted to do, made it very difficult on him, and Ghost forced it. And Fancy, we talked about potentially the biggest fold ever, but now we could talk about the biggest comeback ever. He has a chance to redeem himself right here on this drive. And he has double me active on Moss on the outside. And he's going to take a shot to him. He Go might have Moss. him. Randy oh Moss God, so... walking off. I'm Yo, so fancy. Why do I have to Touchdown. Like, win the game he has heart. He has oh, guts. That was the biggest and he has $10,000. Literally the biggest fold ever. I'm, I'm so excited. No I'm quit so excited. in the kid. One of the worst plays ever. And he bounces right back. Throws an absolute beam. And he's going to the final eight in one of the craziest games we've ever seen. Seen. That was incredible.